What's your take on the new CONCON cost estimate as released by the Legislative Reference Bureau recently? I think it's good that they looked at a wide range of possibilities, um, but, but a $40 million figure, which is their high-end estimate, is far too high. That was holding it at the Hilton Hawaiian Village with the maximum number of delegates, paying them very well, and buying new desks and office furniture for the entire length of the convention. It also included publicly financed elections, uh, which, which don't even happen in Hawaii, but for some reason they thought they should include $20 million for that um, for a potential constitutional convention um, delegate elections. How does the LRB uh, study differ from the one that the Lieutenant Governor did earlier this year? The Lieutenant Governor's um, estimates were much more conservative, much more uh, cost conscious. Um, he actually, his task force actually came out with numbers ranging from 2 to about 11 million compared to the 6 to 40 plus million from the LRB. That's a wide, wide discrepancy there. It, it, it really is. Why do you think that the LRB's estimate was so much higher? I don't know for a fact, but, but I think part of it is the incentives and, of the people who commissioned the various studies. Um, the lieutenant governor hasn't hidden the fact that he's in support of a constitutional convention, which is wonderful because that's a way that, that the people of Hawaii can introduce transparency and accountability uh, for, for government and for government officials. Um, the legislators, on the other hand, commissioned the study by the LRB. What a constitutional convention would do is to um, shift some power from the legislators who currently make all of the laws to delegates elected by the people expressly for the purpose of a constitutional convention. If I were a legislator, I probably wouldn't want that either. And so it's, it's, no, um, it's no surprise that their cost estimate is so much higher. Are the costs in these two studies kind of in line with past constitutional conventions we've held? The 1978 Constitutional Convention was our last CONCON. Um, that was budgeted for two and a half million dollars. To my understanding, they didn't even utilize that entire budget. And even if you put that into 2008 dollars, that's about eight million, which is the very bottom of the LRB's range of cost estimates. You mentioned before that you think it's kind of ironic how legislators are all of a sudden caring about how much things cost and stuff like that. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, every year our legislators gather in at least one regular session, typically additional special sessions on top of that. And they almost seemingly without thinking about it, pass bills that cost um, Hawaiian citizens millions, sometimes billions of dollars. Sometimes these costs are, are obvious, but sometimes they're through regulations on businesses and families. Um, the Hawaii legislature, in our research, we've discovered that they are the only legislature in the country that does not use a process um, called fiscal notes or fiscal impact statements by which to judge the cost of the bills they pass. And um, so they pass hundreds of bills every session without caring how much those bills cost taxpayers. And yet now when we have an opportunity to give power to the taxpayers through a constitutional convention, all of a sudden they care about the cost. You know, when we hear these millions and millions of dollars, uh, uh, the numbers are so large that sometimes it's really difficult to comprehend numbers that large. Could you kind of put the cost of the CONCON in perspective for us? Yes. So the, the uppermost estimate that the LRB put forth was $40 million. If we take what was actually spent um, in, the, in the 1978 convention, and put that in 2008 dollars, we'll say about $8 million um, is, is probably a little more expensive even than a CONCON will cost here according to the Lieutenant Governor's task force. Let's compare that now to the cost of every single legislative session, which they have, like I said, at least once every year. Well, we actually calculated that the legislature spends $40 million just in administrative costs during its legislative session, in staff costs, in per diems, which the legislators receive, in paper, in printing. And that's every single year. That's on top of the cost of all the bills that they pass without even thinking uh, about us taxpayers. So every single legislative session costs us uh, around $40 million every time? $40 million. Mm -hmm. um, 
which again is approximately the amount of the high end estimate that the LRB put forth for the Constitutional Convention. So the real bottom line question on the CONCON is, is it worth the cost of the taxpayers? Can we afford to have a CONCON now? The taxpayers ultimately will get to decide that in November. But the Grassroot Institute of Hawaii is of the opinion that we cannot afford not to have a CONCON. Uh, when you have a constitutional convention, you have the opportunity to pass things like voter initiative referent and referendum, um, to put more accountability into campaign finance or into um, the legislative process, into maybe implementing things so that legislators know how much these bills cost taxpayers. And I think the savings from those, those things are, are, will pay hundreds of times over uh, what the cost of a constitutional convention would be. I understand that the Grassroot Institute is coming out with a CONCON report. How can people get a copy? The report is available on our website, which is grassrootinstitute.org. That's grassroot singular, no S on the end of it. And, um, and I, I, it, I encourage you to look at that report and I also just encourage you to think, when you hear these cost estimates for the CONCON, think about that in terms of what the legislature is already spending every year. Um, since the 1978 Constitutional Convention, the legislature has spent about $1 billion just in administrative costs of running their own legislature. And um, so a, a few million dollars for a constitutional convention is really a drop in the bucket, comparatively. And in a perfect world, what would you hope to, to, to have accomplished in a CONCON? If there were three main things that you'd want to see come out of a CONCON, should the voters decide to have one, what would they be? I would like to see, um, first of all, voter initiative and referendum. To, to make it easier for voters to hold their elected officials accountable when they make a decision that is, in, is not in line with the desires of, of the voters and of the taxpayers. I would also like to see the legislature required to implement fiscal notes. So required to have a piece of paper so that they know what each bill costs that they are voting on. And then finally, I'd like to see more financial transparency, not just within the legislature, but the agencies. I would like to require every expenditure um, by the state to be placed online in a searchable database so that people like you and I can, can really examine, critically examine, how our money is being spent. Thanks very much. Thank you.